It's Wednesday, time for our weekly trip to the new zoo. Neil Anderson joins us again from Swamico. Good morning, Neil. Well, good morning, guys. Now, we're just in the animal hospital, and that's where our commissary is located. You saw the big diet board, how we prepare the diets. Now, as far as food storage, uh, there's a few different things that we do. Now, this, we're in the dry foods storage area, which you can take a look at. We've got a lot of different products. Now, this is just outside our animal hospital, so we can pr prepare diets efficiently. You can see here we've got tortoise chow, emu, crane, llama. We have a special blend, blend here of grain for our elk and bison, and all kinds of different diets, from petting zoo treats to moose maintenance. So you can see there's a lot of specialized diets. In addition to that, you know, we have our, like I said, we've got the dry storage, but we also then have the frozen storage. And I'm going to show you in here kind of what that looks. So we have two big, we have a walk-in cooler and a walk-in freezer. You know, we've got to make sure good quality control is taken care of. You know, this is no different than a restaurant, you know, and from a people end of it. You can see we take temperature readings and everything, but you can take a look in here. This is all the meat. We showed you the meat that, that we uh, had earlier. These are all the boxes that meat. You can see even frozen whole organism food. These are rats. You can get these in a 12 pack, six pack, any size that you want. Mice, small mice. So these would probably be for our rodents, some of our small birds. In addition to that, we have bones and fish, all different frozen products. <clears throat> now one of the things that you'd be real careful is that when you go from the frozen food to thawing out, that you do the same type of principles that you would normally do if you were serving food to people. No different than animals. So a lot of people say, well, geez, you know, um, my freezer just went out and I've got some meat in there, it went bad. Would you animals at the zoo like that? Well, we can't feed that because you know what? They get sick just like us. Now, if you take a look in here, <clears throat> this is our walk-in cooler. <clears throat> this is kind of interesting. This is all set up we were in the animal kitchen prior, and you remember that we had, we showed you all the diets. These are all the diets done from the day before. They're in separate areas here for separate keepers. These are, like say, the, the we've got the meat thawing out, so it's nice slow thaw from the day before, and our produce in here. So you can kind of see how this works. So our keepers will come in on a daily basis. They'll go ahead, pick up their route, their section throughout the day and away they go. So you see there's a lot to uh, feeding the animals at the zoo and really it is no different than from food for either you or me. With that, back to you guys.